So hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching C Beginners video series on C++ and this video is about swap function. So ever wondered why swap function is given in C++ and where you will use that because swap like A to B is very easy, right? You can just use third variable and just swap A with B, right? So what's the real deal here? Actually, it is really very important. And in this video, we are going to cover that only. So stick with me till the end and you will learn something new today. So first I will show you a simple example here. So we have A with five and B is initialized with 10. If I'll run this, A will become 10 and B is going to be five. It is very easy. We know this swap can do that much at least. Yeah. So there is no big deal in this. Let me show you another example. So now here we have two vectors V1, V2, and now we can use swap function with these two vectors. This is the real use. Swap will not swap to vectors element by element. No, it is just going to swap the pointers, internal pointers of the array. What I mean to tell is what is vector? Vector is nothing but, uh, let's say this is your class. Vector is one array. So we'll have the pointer of this and the size, which will tell the size of this array. Okay. And there are going to be many, uh, members in this class. So this is your class vector. So if you consider this, then in that case, you have V1 and V2. This V1 will have one array inside this and this. So let's suppose this is the one and the address of this entire array is let's say zero cross 11. And this is like zero cross, maybe, I don't know, zero, one, two, four. I don't know. So this is the starting address. Swap will make this V1 point to this array and make this v2 to point to this guy. That's it. There is no copy involved, just pointer swapping of the array. And you saw this size is also there, right? The size will get modified accordingly and you're done. There is no copy meaning. I mean, there is no swap. So if this array was, let's say 1 million length, then also you just copied its address and that's it, right? So here is the magic. So if you don't want to write your own custom swap and you are heavily dependent on vectors or in that case, any STL data structure, then I would say swap will come out as magic because it will not copy every element from source to destination. It will just swap the pointers and wait a minute. Don't go anywhere. I'll show you the live example of that. Okay. This address changing thing. So just don't go anywhere. Now let's look at this code. We have two vectors v1 and v2. Now what we are doing is before I am printing the data pointer here for v1 vector and then for v2 vector. So before swap, we did printed the address of the array, which is this array. I explained, right? So every vector inside it contains just the array. So here we are going to print the address of that array for V1 and V2, and then we'll perform the swap. And then we'll again print the array and see if that array is swapped or what it is. So I'll compile this and execute this. Let's see. Let me just rearrange it a bit. Yeah. Before swap, one, two, three was the element for V1 and the address was this guy, five C zero. And for V2, 640. Now, if you notice after swap, V1 is with 640 and V2 is with 560, I mean 5C0. So the data, so this data member function will actually give you the pointer to that array where the elements are stored in this vector. So you can see this, right? What I was explaining is now happening here. Cool, right? So this way of using swap is really very good because you don't have to copy anything. So I think we're done here. Thanks for watching guys. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something new today and share it with your friends, man. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.